Hello guys, what I'm cooking today is lamb and scallop with tomato relish, mashed cauliflower with black garlic, and sugar snap peas with soy and sesame. You may see me bringing some of the same recipes to you, and that's because I cook with what's in season. I've cooked cauliflower quite a few times, and that's because it's a winter vegetable, and that's what's what's in season now. Whenever you cook what's in season, you always have the best outcome of your meal because the ingredient is at its freshest. And that's what I'm trying to show you. How to cook with a variety, how to cook a variety of recipes using the same ingredient. So what I'm doing is breaking apart my cauliflower that's already been washed and I'm going to boil that in some salt water until it's tender. Next what I'm making is my tomato relish. I use this tomato relish for everything. It's great with long side eggs just on the side of the plate to go with whatever you have going on there. It's great on a sandwich instead of tomatoes or up on top of meat or seafood or with vegetables. It's very versatile. So make a big jar of this, put it in your refrigerator. It, it lasts forever and use it for everything. You can also, instead of using organic sugar like I'm using, you can use brown sugar or you can use honey or maple syrup. And maple syrup actually has less calories than honey. So what you do is you put this on a stove just like it is and let it boil down, let all the water boil out of it until it resembles a thick jam. You see my cauliflower is really good there. I'm about to see the And I usually always make a paste for my seafood and for my meats using some kind of herb, garlic, olive oil, and some kind of spice. So you can choose whatever varieties of herbs, spices, and omit garlic or use garlic and use this to season your meats and your seafood. It keeps your meat and seafood moist while giving it flavor. This is especially good on chicken. If you're making a whole roast of chicken, just rub this under the skin, on top of the skin, and all around on both sides of the chicken. Stick your chicken in the oven and you will have the best roasted chicken you've ever had. So my lamb chops are seasoned, I'm going to put those in the oven and then I'm going to season my scallops and I'm going to sear my scallops in a very, very hot saucepan. My tomato relish is cooking down and a lot of most of the liquid is coming out of it. You want to boil it down until all the liquid has basically cooked out of it and it's a thick jam. It, it resembles a jam. So even if it looks like it's drying out like it does right now, keep on cooking it down until almost all the water is gone out of it. It's going to be sticky and jam-like. So I'm turning my scallops. You want to let them only cook for about one and a half minutes on each side. You don't want to overcook the scallops. So push in the middle and where the middle is firm, it's done. If the middle is firm, take it out. It's done. Take it off the fire. So I'm draining my cauliflower now. Showing you the tomato jam, it's cooked all the way down. 
And black garlic is very, very healthy. Black garlic stimulates white blood cell activity, normalizes blood sugar level, increases testosterone in men, and boosts libido. Date night, rich in amino acids, and it's double the amount of all of this of white in white garlic and is well tolerated in a digestive system and it's odorless. So white garlic has the same effect, but black garlic has double the amounts of all of this, so it's very, very healthy for you. And you can just spread black garlic on toast. It's very soft. You can spread it on toast or you can put it on in any kind of vegetable or make it a Put it on meat into your marinades or anything. Black garlic is, is a lovely thing to find. If you see it in your supermarket, pick it up. I find it at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and stores like that or any health food store. So right now, and I've just steamed some sugar snap peas and I've mashed my cauliflower with black garlic, a touch of cream, a pat of butter and salt and pepper. I steamed my snap peas in a steamer, in a microwave. You can just microwave in a bowl with a little bit of water if you don't have a steamer. And I've added some soy sauce and olive oil and also sesame seeds to the sugar snap peas because I did not have any sesame oil. Normally I would add sesame oil to my sugar snap peas, but I didn't have any, so I used regular olive oil. If you have sesame oil, you use it. So I put a bed of my mashed cauliflower down and then I put my scallops on top of it and topped it with the tomato jams, jam and the same with the lamb chops. And I also added a scallop to the lamb chops and I'm just plating with my sugar snap peas around the plate. And it looks beautiful. This is a wonderful date night meal. So please try it. Just garnishing with just a little bit of parsley. Beautiful, look at that guys. So easy to make and so beautiful. I really hope that you guys are trying some of my recipes. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave me a comment. If you have any questions, leave your question in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching my cooking enjoying my channel I hope please give me a like and subscribe I'll try and keep these recipes coming to you guys as often as I possibly can the editing actually takes longer than the cooking process thank you for watching